Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and here's an interesting story, world's top geneticists decided to spend the vast majority of last week discussing how to keep new genetic editing tools from ultimately destroying the human race. A noble goal, sure, but considerably less time has been spent discussing how genetically editing other species might change the idea of nature as we know it. Yeah, quite true. They're talking about uh, creating unicorns and dragons. Well, we already have dragons. They're called Komodo dragons. Why should we not expect dwarf elephants, giant guinea pigs, or genetically tame tigers? Hank Greeley of Stanford School of Medicine and Aldo, Aldo Charo of the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine write in an essay, CRISPR Critters and CRISPR Cracks, or dare we wonder billionaire decides to give his 12-year-old daughter a real unicorn for her birthday. Really, in Charo argue that such overlooked and even frivolous uses of gene editing technique CRISPR forward slash Cas9 could fall through regulatory cracks it may ultimately have a greater impact on our environment than human editing ever would. They have valid point. Um. On that, our tinkering is going to get the best of us sooner or later. Humans are terrible lab animals. We don't follow instructions. We have long generation times, and we can hire lawyers. Human genome editing has a gauntlet of sachets, regulations, bureaucracies, and potentially courts that it must run. Greeley and Charo note that uh, gene editing has already been used by artist Eduardo Tack to create a green rabbit. The genetically modified glowfish can be purchased in most places in the United States, and the startups are already advertising color changing flowers on Kickstarters. And some of this uh, talks about the uh, genetically modified mosquitoes that can carry sterilized, uh, sterilized mosquitoes that carry dengue fever. There's some good and bad in this, but I, uh, I'm thinking this could turn ugly eventually. I agree with these people. They're, Um, you know, they're right on money. There is a danger here. What they do with mosquitoes is they release the genetically modified ones that are sterile, and then they can't breed with the females. That reduces the population. Uh, I've often said that we need to block the uh, incoming population, uh, uh, carries dengue fever, so, the mosquitoes don't have any dengue infected people to bite. Well, that's another story. I think I have to look that up. CRISPR. Yeah, it's a brand new world, alright. Um, Things are changing. Scary. 
in some respects, I'll admit. I'm Martin Facts Mars. Thanks for watching. These scientists are nuts. <laughs> nuts, nuts, nuts.